All right, kids, we're gonna make this clock circuit. You'll notice that there's no uh, schematic, no circuit diagram, that's okay. The circuit diagram is on this thing. It tells you where everything goes. So there's a few things uh, you haven't seen before. First of all is the actual uh, circuit board. So all the connections are in the back here. Uh, this is like a coating on top of the actual uh, probably copper that conducts the, you know, the electricity that connects these parts. So you'll put all these pieces on the top and then you'll put the solder on the bottom, okay? You've seen this capacitor. This thing's called a crystal oscillator. I honestly have no idea what it does. Uh, here's the integrated circuit that goes with it. Um, you're not gonna solder this in, by the way. You solder this thing in, and it's kinda like, kinda like fits into it. Uh, here's something you haven't seen. This is called a resistor array. So uh, the current goes into this most left pin and then it comes out through all the other pins, and all these are resistors, each one being one kilo ohm. Um, all right, I think that's about it. We're going to get started. I'm going to put this on speed mode. All right, kids, so here we have it. We have our circuit, it's just about finished. I soldered everything together. And the very last thing you'll do is you'll use some wire cutters to cut off the extra little pins. And yeah, there we go. So I noticed a couple of things while I was doing this that'll probably help you out uh, that we should talk about ahead of time. First of all, you're all going to ask me, Mr. Poe, does it matter what direction I wire all these things? Um, well, for some things, yes. For some things, no. All right. Uh, the only thing I can, I can think of right now is the, the polarized capacitor. There's a little plus symbol, and uh, you need to have the... Uh, well, make sure that there's, the stripe is negative, so make sure that doesn't go on the plus symbol right there. Um... Other things, can I say? You're gonna wonder what direction do I put the button in? Just make sure that it's it fits. If it fits, it's in the right direction. Um, another thing is for the integrated circuit. There's an integrated circuit, and then there's like a little thing it fits in. You should not ever uh, solder one of these things directly into your circuit, and that's because um, while well, these things are sensitive, they're tiny, you know. Like you could break something or burn something. And so what they do is they make these little platforms that you put them in. And uh, once you solder the platform in, the integrated circuit just fits right on. Well, it should. I don't know if I need to waste your time doing this in the video. Uh, but all right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to plug it into our computer. All right, kids, real quick. Whenever you plug this thing in, if it doesn't stop beeping, that's because you have the integrated circuit in backwards. Now the first thing you'll see when you turn it on is it'll be 1259. And no matter what you do, if you unplug it and plug it back in, it's going to reset everything going back to 1259. So if you want to like keep this on and working and stuff, you'll have to find a permanent plug for it. Okay. So this, this is the time. It thinks it's almost 1 o'clock. Okay. And uh, it has three alarms. One that goes off every hour. And then one, two that are like alarms that you set, you know. So that's the hour and the minutes. You press this button. That shows you the minutes and the seconds. So see, it's about to turn to one o'clock. So, yeah. So there you go. Just turn to one o'clock, according to the alarm. Okay. Now, its alarms 
because uh, that's the hourly chime. The alarms are supposed to go off at 101 and 102. Um, you access the alarms through uh, the buttons here. So the right button, that shows you the seconds view. It toggles back between the clock view and the seconds view. And if you long press it, it resets the seconds. Cool, huh? Okay, so to get to the uh, alarms, it's the left button, like that's how you get to the settings, but you can't just press it, you have to long press it. So this allows you to set the, uh, you know, what, what time it is in hours. So let's say I want it to be, you know, two o'clock or whatever, or 15, I don't, I don't do military time, that's three o'clock. Uh, now this is for minutes. So let's say I want it to be 3.02, okay? This is that annoying hourly chime. Let's go ahead and turn that off. So no more hourly chime, okay? Now the D menu, that's for your first alarm. Do you want your alarm to be on or off? You know, like you want it to be on? Okay, well then this is the, the hours and then the minutes for that alarm, okay? This here is for the second alarm. Do you want that to be on or off? So if I want it to be on, then that's the hours and the minutes for uh, that alarm. I think that's all the settings. Yeah, so now I'm back at the time. Uh, that's it, good luck, have fun.